Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a moving conveyor belt in Roblox Studio. Just before the video begins, I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish, which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure your explore and properties are enabled. If explore and properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on view and enable explore and properties. Now that you've done that, you want to go and insert your part, which the is, which is going to be the conveyor belt. So we can do this and then we can move it a little bit like that. So how this will work is when a player walks onto this part, they'll move, be moved into a direction in a way of a conveyor belt. So you want to go and customize your part, you can add textures, you can change the color, but for this tutorial I'm just going to keep it at a medium stone grey. Make sure to go and anchor your part. Now that you've done that and you've customized your conveyor belt, you want to click on the plus button next to your part and insert a script. You then want to hold down control and we want to use our mouse wheel to scroll in. You do not have to do this but it is just better to see the script. Once you've done that, go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back into Roblox Studio. As you guys can see, we have now got the code inside of the script, inside of our part, and it is a very basic and simple, easy script. All we are doing, we're identifying on the conveyor speed. So this is the speed on the, of the conveyor, and we can change this to however fast you want your conveyor to move. So let's say you wanted your conveyor to move at two, you could change it to two, but I've got it at 14 because I feel that's an ideal speed for a conveyor or you could even use seven seven is quite nice but for this tutorial we will keep it at as 14. then basically what happens here is it is a constant loop basically meaning this loop continues every 0.1 second basically meaning you have 10 of these runs of scripts within a second so this basically kind of keeps it up to date on the actual conveyor sort of movement so what is happening here? It is going to the script of the parent and changing the velo velocity to the script of the parent, to the C frame, then goes to the look vector, and then it sets to the conveyor speed, which is 14. Now we could also have it where it is, we don't actually have the conveyor speed text here, and we just have the number, but I've gone and made it so that you can easily change the conveyor speed up here instead of changing it over here. But you can also just remove the conveyor speed and put your number like that, but we're gonna keep it as conveyor speed just like that. Once you've finished adjusting your script, click on the X button up here next to script. Then we want to go click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate. And if I go walk over our part, as you guys can see, we will actually be pushed away. So what you would want to do for this is you would actually want to turn the part around or minimize the sides and make it long ways. But as you guys can see, this is our conveyor belt. So I'm just going to quickly go and change up the part so it works correctly. As you guys can see I've now fixed up the conveyor path and now I'm be a I'll be able to run onto the conveyor but as you guys can see I'm also being pushed off but let's say we started on this side you'd be able to see without me moving we are moving along the base plate with our conveyor but if we had to go and make it a sort of a dropper system if we moved our part here onto the conveyor belt you'll be able to see that the part automatically use uh, moves using the conveyor belt. So let's say you had a dropper right over here, a dropper drops apart, and then the conveyor belt moves the part just like that. Same thing happens with the humanoid. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we will happily help you out. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.